Coming up next is DC News number 102. It's an all-world's finest update. And we got stories on, oh, the new creative team on the Superman comic book now that uh, George Perez is leaving. We also got stories on Supergirl and what's going on with her and the return of Silver Banshee. We've also got stories on, oh, the the Council of Robins, which which one of the DC oh, writers is thinking about doing. And uh, what's up with Nightwing? It's got a lot to do with the Night of the Owls storyline. And all that and more is coming right up. Lots of stores can make lots of claims about themselves, but only I can make the claim that nobody has ever paid full price for a new comic here at Alternate Reality. Since 1994, every new comic that's walked out the door has been discounted 15% off. So if you want to save 15% off your new comics, there's only one place to come, and that's Alternate Reality. DC Comic Book News. Bowen Comic Book Man Style. Hey, buffoonery is a style. Goo Goo Gaga. That's your answer? Big baby. DC Comic Book News, episode 102, Demons and Donuts. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for... DC News. DC Why News. are you so violent? Because Stop of, it! Because it's DC because News. Because he runs a comic book store. And DC News is coming to you from this place, Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, where all new comics, including all my DC comics, are always 15% off every day for everyone. This is a world's finest edition of DC News. All Batman, all Superman, all the time. Of course, those are, all those books are always 15% off every day for everyone. We're going to start off with the House of L, which for me is the House of Hell now, but the House of L. <laughs> and the new creators who are on Superman, not action, Superman. George uh, George Perez, of course, left Superman. He's been replaced by Dan Jurgens and Keith Giffen. They will be co-writing the book, and Jurgens will be drawing it. Okay. And their first arc will involve the Wildstorm character Hellspont. Okay. Some brand new characters, a new villain, and a reworked version of an old character. Superman has nothing but old characters. <laughs> well, well, every character in the DC Universe is old now in the new 52. Well, apparently an old member of his supporting cast. <laughs> has Jimmy Olsen ever been a chick? <laughs> yeah, it's true. No, well, yeah. Um, um, what's his face? An all-star Superman. <laughs> yeah, see where he put on some women's clothes. And, and wait, Steve Lombard goes, why are you dressed yeah. up like a woman? You, you going out on, on story I'm again? And he, go, and he goes, no. That is not <laughs> what I said. I'm okay. comfortable. <laughs> I'm comfortable. <laughs> well, okay, good for you. <laughs> Which, of course... Jimmy Olsen has a long history of putting on makeup in his own comic oh back in the 60s goodness. and 70s, 50s and 60s. Oh Going out on stories. I hope I can't yes, he was a hard, hard fought reporter. Yeah. He's, he's got to dress up like a woman in order to go underground and get the real story. The story. <laughs> Mr. Action. Mr. Like Action. Lunchroom yeah. cafeteria. Supergirl! Meanwhile, Supergirl's got stuff going on in her book. What's she doing? Uh, the next arc will involve, uh, we'll reveal more about the world killers. and reveal World why killers? Why Supergirl's father was murdered, and apparently there are problems with you in the house. Zor-El was murdered? Zor-El was murdered, and there is something, because Zor-El was murdered right after he put Supergirl in the Matrix, sending her away, and okay. Jor-El, of course, had a different idea of working on things over at Krypton, and so they're going to be explaining that as well, why there were differences in the house of L. Well, I know, I know that a lot of storylines over the last 10 or 12 years have pit zor and jor against each other. Not that they hated each other, but they had def definitely different, different points of different view. Different concepts of how to save like themselves from Krypton's explosion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they now, both knew the planet was doomed, but how they go about fixing that was different. Supergirl number 8 will be drawn by George Perez. Great. It'll also introduce the new Silver Banshee. Hey, an old character being brought back. Like It'll I said, everyone's old, in, supporting camp. everyone's old in the DC yeah, universe. So a new and improved... Perez drawn Silver Banshee, which means she'll have thick legs and big hooves. Sweet. <laughs> Why? Just because George Perez draws it? That's what Are you he trying does. to say something about George Perez and women? That's what he draws. Yeah, I've noticed that. I've noticed he that. He entertains himself. I hear George like cosplay a lot too. Uh, Different cosplayers. Who and the uh, the, who the doesn't? I know I know that on a first hand basis too. I know that on a first hand basis. Yeah. George loves cosplay. In the, the writers of the book, they said, well, they found that the George Perez was going to be drawing that issue. They said they almost had an orgasm. Because, <laughs> like, George Perez! George Perez! He's, I used to have an orgasm over George Perez's art, too, and then I grew up. Okay, over in the, the Batman universe. Oh, Jeff I, Lemire. I He's got plans for a Lemire? character who doesn't have a book right now, well, but who you know very well. Well, no, there's a rumor that Lamar is Jeff Lemire. With Lemire. Lemire, Lemire. He'll be writing a new series that'll star all the former and present occupants of the Robin costume. Robin does not have a book right now. No, he doesn't. He's, he's hanging out. So you have, uh, sweet you'd have Jason Todd. Yeah, the sweet tooth guy. Jason Todd, Dick Grayson, um, Tim Drake, and maybe even the all-star Batman. 
The Society of Robins. The Society of Robins. It'll be all about the people wearing the Robins. Cause <laughs> the Society of the Boy Hostages. Because I think DC has sort of established the concept that being being Robin... Hostage Inc. Like, it's sort of like a, an apprentice situation in the yeah. DC universe. Yes, it's the apprenticeship that never pays off because they never become... <laughs> Well, the first one we got they do, they apprentice to the Batman role, and then when they get old enough, it's okay. Well, you know, already, I don't oh, want to be Batman. <laughs> you, know, you know you thought you were going to be Batman? That ain't happening. But you can go be someone else. Like, oh, got, I don't know, Red Hood or Nightwing. Or, the first one got yeah, but, you, but see, you can, you can probably blame that on Chuck Dixon, because Dick, Dixon was the guy who came up with the concept that Dick Grayson went, yeah. I don't want to be Batman. <laughs> <laughs> And and so you shall have your wish. You never shall be Batman. <laughs> well, the first one got the crappiest costume in comics. Right. <laughs> That's not uh, too flary. And, Although yeah, Dick Grayson did green, become Batman for the green what, a couple min- years, so the green little minty yeah. shorts and the boots with the wings and stuff. Yeah, but it never sticks around. Him being him being uh, uh, Batman never. never yeah, it lasts. never sticks. It never because at some point Bruce Wayne's got to put the cap. Yeah, because Batman's Bruce Wayne. That's what everyone wants to see. Right. That's what everyone wants to see. Uh, speaking of Nightwing, because I just mentioned Nightwing, uh, eight. Issues 8 and 9 are part of the what? The big, huge Night of the Owls crossover, the which Owls also crossover. involved Batwing, but Batwing was in that one issue. And the arc that follows that is called The Prince of Gotham, and it will show the aftermath of Night of the Owls, which has Dick Grayson taking on a new approach to fighting crime. Because Batman's approach is, hi, I'm Batman, and everyone goes, oh my God, it's Batman, he's going to beat the living crap out of us. Dick Grayson says, you know, there's probably another way of doing this. It would be a little more uplifting and a little more pleasant than people assuming every time you show up, you're going to beat the crap out of somebody. Two words, Bo. Water balloons. Water balloons. Water balloons. Yes, there you go. Water balloons. balloons. Stop. Stop, stop what you're doing, Splash. The Prince of... <laughs> Uh, Stop robbing that bank, Bane Splash. And that's it. We're done. Hey. We're finished right over here. We got no more DC news. <laughs> that's the what? that's the end of the world's <laughs> finest newscast. But you can go to the store's website, sure. and get all the water balloons you want, and DC Comics news. You said water balloons? And, oh, you, you betcha. made me slip. <laughs> Where? He has water balloon fights in the store. And where's oh. the store's website at? <laughs> oh, Sarah knows, but somebody's hitting it with water balloons. Does the word oblivious mean anything to you? www.myalternatereality.com so go to the store's website, check out all of the news this man sends me that I post up, and until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And this is the Prince of Water Balloons. Man. Prince of Water Balloons, right here. Prince of Water Balloons. Saying, bye! So you're the, d- the Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.